Tensions remain high on Mauna Kea, where a group of self-proclaimed protectors continues the blockade of the 30-meter telescope. On Monday, Big Island Video News paid a visit to the crosswalk of the Mauna Kea Access Road by the Visitor Center at Hale Pohaku, 9,000 feet up the mountain. What's the thought of the day? Yeah, Uncle. Kapua Aloha. There you go. Kapua Aloha it is. Wait, where's the blue? It's not known when TMT crews will attempt to resume work on the $1.4 billion observatory. Some protectors think it might be any day. That's why they have assembled every day at dawn for more than 80 days in a row. On the ribs. Just the way we started. Right here on the bone. Oh my God. Kapualo. Do this. The last time we were on the mountain, Governor David Ige had just given his statement in support of the 30-meter telescope project. The 30-meter telescope project went through the appropriate steps and got the appropriate approvals. I do not doubt that they did more than any previous project, telescope project, to be a good neighbor. This issue is in litigation at this time, and the courts will ultimately have they, their say on this case. In the meantime, however, TMT has the right to proceed with construction, and they may proceed as far as I'm concerned. And we will support and enforce their right to do so. We also acknowledge the right to protest this activity. We will protect the right to peacefully protest and also will act to ensure the public safety and the right to use our roadways for lawful purposes. He also laid out his plan for the future stewardship of Mount Kea. The University of Hawaii must do a better job in its stewardship of the mountain. If we are going to be a long-term partner and landlord with the University of Hawaii, we expect the university to do its part as well. Since then, there have been a number of small incidents on the summit of the mountain. You're hereby informed that your presence is not and never has been desired upon the mountain known as Mauna Wakea that is situated within the Aupua of Ka'ohe, Moku of Hamakua, Mokupuni of Hawaii, Hawaiian Kingdom. For example, Kaho'okahi Kanuha, a leader and spokesperson amongst the protectors, exchanged trespassing notices with authorities at the summit. Kanuha was one of the 31 people arrested in April on the mountain. The Hawaiian Kingdom is currently under an illegal and prolonged occupation by the United States of America. This notice is valid for one year from the date and issue of this time, June 11, 2015, at time right now. I'll give you the exact time, 9.40. 9.40 a.m. So, I'll give you guys your notices like you guys gave me last well, week. Come here, come here. Yeah. Take them, take them. Mr. Dell. Right here. Right here. Oh, you got it. Put the white one off. Put the white one off. Put the white one off. Get a copy. No, I'm not. I'm not allowed to accept. Okay, I'll put it on your car after. There have been a number of alarms raised at the summit. Some turned out to be false, like the alleged bullet hole found in the door of the Subaru telescope, which triggered speculation that opposition to astronomy on the mountain had become violent. It was later revealed the hole was caused by wind, slamming the door into adjoining piping. Subaru officials apologized for the confusion. On the other hand, the alarm being raised about oil leaks at the TMT construction site is not so easily dismissed. Nancy Monroe has been documenting the small leaks for weeks. Okay, right here is what has been constructed so far for the road to the TMT site, the 30-meter telescope. 
Uh, it's about a mile of road through the lava. And from what we can see, uh, there are two excavators down below us. Uh, below that, there's a bulldozer a little further out that's in view from here. And at the end of the road is a second bulldozer. And each of these pieces of heavy machinery is leaking oil. That's what happens with petroleum run equipment. And they have pads underneath them and pads catching the oil on the ground. Uh, he's been sitting here for at least 81 days. And they can't fix it up here. You need a shop to fix it. You know, when you change oil, it's a mess. You need to bring the tractors up here, the flatbeds, to take them down. They can fix them down below. Just from today, uh, we usually have a Monday morning site check. They've expanded the area that they have sectioned off. It used to be about along this way, so they've expanded another 20 feet outside the perimeter. Uh, when we want to come up and do a site check, we scramble along the lava. We're not allowed to walk on the road, according to them. They say, oh, it's for our safety. If they truly were concerned about our safety and knowing we want to check the situation here, they would let us on the road and keep us within a safe boundary rather than us scrambling along the lava trying to get to the end of the road to see what the status is of the equipment up here. The Board of Land and Natural Resources took issue with the leaks and other aspects of mountain management last Friday. As the Office of Mauna Kea Management presented its annual report during a board meeting on Oahu. Land board officials seem to be looking for greater transparency from OMKM. It was specifically questioned why the report did not contain more about the TMT blockade and protector encampment at Hale Pohaku. The Office of Mauna Kea Management is trying to adjust to the wishes of the governor for better management of the mountain. Meetings are scheduled for next week. So again, this is an ongoing process to share and ensure protection of our historic sites. Future plans, meetings, and it's your participation is critical. So we're having our um, starting up the rules making process again in the Kona Civic Club, June 23rd. That's 5 p.m. to 7.30. Uh, in Hilo, June 24th, same time at, at Imiloa Center. In Waimea, we have our Department of Hawaiian Homeland Hall, that's June 25th. 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. TMT is also trying to meet the governor's expectations. Last week, TMT board chair Henry Yang announced the intent of TMT partner universities to establish scholarships, summer internships, graduate program fellowships, and research assistantships in the areas of science and technology for Hawaii students. Meanwhile, the public debate about TMT continues, even as the Common Ground Talk Story series came to its completion. The Hilo Hamakua Development Corporation tried to get both sides together to familiarize each other on the opposing viewpoint. And I have to tell you, um, in the month since we've started meeting, a lot of interesting things have happened that I never would have been able to predict. I never expected the governor to make his statement. I never knew that the Supreme Court was going to respond and um, take the case two days ago or whatever it is. Um, we, we had a reality check of a hole in a door that people responded to in a lot of very interesting ways that I think touch upon why we're all here tonight. Because people come from very different point of views. And the goal of these sessions was for us to hear the different points of view that are going on. How can we end the conflict? My, my, my suggestion that I believe is applicable at this time really is to stop the TMT. Remove the equipment that's on the mountain that's already polluting it with dripping oil and stuff like that. Remove the silly little fence they have over there calling it private and just remove it. You'll end the tension that's gonna cause 
the collision. The other parts of how we implement the sciences, I'm sure we're smart enough to come up with that. 